We're going to talk about the chord chord product theorem. We're at 12.6a. If you need, the geometry playlist is linked in the description. So right away for your notes, we've got the chord chord product theorem. And the theorem says if two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, then the products of the lengths of the segments of the chords are equal. So we have chord AB and chord CD, and they intersect at E in the interior of the circle. So the conclusion is that AE times EB is equal to CE times ED. And this theorem describes the relationship among the four segments that are formed when two chords intersect in the interior of a circle. We can use the chord chord product theorem to find the value of x and the length of each chord. We have AB times BC is going to be equal to DB times BE. So this is giving us that it's a 6 here for AB and a 4 for BC, and it's given us that BE is an 8. We've got 6 times 4 is equal to x times 8. And a lot of you can just do this in your head. x is going to equal 3. So to find the length of DE, it's just 8 plus 3, 3 plus 8. It's 11. We multiply this length times this length, and it'll equal this length times this length. So let's try doing this in a problem. Emma found fragments of an old plate. To calculate its original diameter, she drew a chord AB and its perpendicular bisector PQ. The chord's length measured 16.5 centimeters and PQ was 2 centimeters. So what was the diameter of the plate to the nearest centimeter? The entire plate. Well, since PQ right here is the perpendicular bisector of a chord, PR, this entire length, is the diameter of the plate. We know that AB is 16.5 centimeters and PQ is 2 centimeters. We're going to use the chord chord product theorem and do AQ times QB is equal to PQ times QR. Sorry about the focus there. So if AB is 16.5 centimeters, then AQ must be 8.25 and QB must be 8.25. We multiply them together and get 68.0625 centimeters. PQ is 2 centimeters. So we're going to do 2 times QR, this length. We divide both sides by this 2, and we get 34.03125 is equal to QR. And it wanted us to round it to the nearest centimeter, and we're going to find the diameter by adding PQ plus QR to get its full length. So we have 2 plus 34. So we're going to say that's approximately 34 to be the closest centimeter. So the diameter was about 36 centimeters. So remember, the chord chord product theorem says that the chords have to intersect in the interior of the circle, and the products of the lengths of the segments of the chords are equal. The second part of this lesson, 12.6b, is going to be secant secant product theorem. Then we're going to finish 12.6 with secant tangent product theorem before moving on to 12.7. We only have a few more lessons before we move on to chapter 13, which will be the last chapter for geometry and will be finished. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.